and welcome to a little introduction to the spoke shave. Have you ever tried to plane a concave or a convex piece of wood with a hand plane? Tricky isn't it? Trying to plane a concave surface is never going to work. Projecting the line of the blade through the plane body we can see we're trying to cut here where we're nowhere near the wood surface itself. This spoke shave with its convex sole will fit into that curve. I'm getting tear out there so let's change direction and it's even worse. Changing to a slight angle we're getting lovely shavings and no tear out. Planing a convex surface is possible with a hand plane. This convex curve can be planed with a normal hand plane but we need to balance the mouth in the area that we're trying to cut. Sometimes you find it's easier to do with a spoke shave that has a small flat base. When you're planing a convex curve, remember that there will be a point where we should change direction of planing to avoid tear out. The grain here is roughly parallel with the bench and so the top of the curve is roughly where that change point is. And I should probably be, be planing from here in that direction and from here in that direction. And we've avoided any tear out going in that direction and here we should be coming towards ourselves. we try to go the other way we immediately get some tear out. The spoke shave is a really simple beast. It consists usually of a cast metal handle and base, a lever cap and screw, a blade, the retaining screw for the lever cap, quite often adjustments which allow you to make both depth and lateral adjustment to the blade. And that's all there is. You can hopefully see that I've relieved some of the paint on the bed of this spoke shave. That's just to make sure it's perfectly flat and makes a very good contact with the back of the iron. That helps to avoid chatter of the blade. Also notice that the sole of this spoke shave is very smooth and that's a result of lapping it on some fine wet and dry paper. Both of these spoke shaves were very cheap to purchase. They didn't work particularly well out of the box but by re-honing the blade and polishing it, by making sure that the bed is lovely and flat for the iron to rest on, and by polishing the sole, they've turned into very serviceable items indeed. And I can produce some very good work with them. So for just a few dollars or a few pounds, pick yourself up a pair of spoke shaves, one with a flat sole, one with a convex sole, do a little bit of tuning, have a play and see how much joy you can get out of using them. <laughs>